Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss Unit 18 from Grade 10 Science that is Asexual and Sexual Reproduction. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe this channel and for more updates, hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share these videos among your friends and don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Reproduction the biological process in which living organisms produce their own kind by sexual or asexual method is called reproduction. Reproduction, it is necessary to maintain the life of organism on the earth, that is to give continuity to their generation. Organisms generally reproduce to give continuity to their generation. If they stop reproducing, then their population will be vanished from the earth. We are going to discuss reproduction under two headings, they are asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction The reproduction which takes place without the fusion of male and female gamete is called asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is performed by the involvement of mitosis, that is equational cell division. Characteristics of asexual reproduction so here in asexual reproduction, so only single parent is involved. So there is no involvement of gametes as there is no fertilization. This process of reproduction occurs in very short time. The organisms multiply and grow rapidly. The offspring is genetically similar. That means they are identical with their parents. Fission. The process of asexual reproduction in which parent organism is placed into two or more daughter organism is called fission. It is of two types. They are binary fission and multiple fission. Now one by one we are going to discuss about binary fission and multiple fission. Binary fission. The method of asexual reproduction in which parent body divides into two daughter organisms is called binary fission. Binary fission it takes place in suitable or favorable condition that is when there is suitable temperature and when there is plenty of food. Organisms like amoeba, paramecium, iglina, bacteria, diatoms, etc. reproduce by this method. So here is a diagram showing the binary fission in amoeba. So here the parent amoeba get split or divided into two daughter cells. Two daughter cells. Multiple fission. The method of asexual reproduction in which parent organism is split into several daughter organisms of the same at the same time is called multiple fission. Multiple fission it takes place under unfavorable condition that is when there is no suitable temperature and when there is no plenty of food. Organisms like Plasmodium, Amoeba, Chlamydomonas, etc. reproduce by this method. So here is a diagram showing the multiple fission in Plasmodium. So single cell of Plasmodium so, uh, so many daughter cells are produced by the multiple fission. Cyst. Cyst is the thick protective layer around an organism like amoeba, plasmodium, etc. Budding The method of asexual reproduction which takes place by the formation of bud is called budding. Organisms like hydra, yeast, etc. reproduce by this method. Here is a diagram showing budding in hydra. So parent hydra, it develops a small outgrowth known as bud and that new bud gives right to, to the new individual organism. Esporulation The method of asexual reproduction which takes place with the formation of espores is called esporulation. Mucor, moss, fawn, etc. reproduce by this method. So here is a diagram showing the esporulation in mucor. Fragmentation or regeneration. It is the method of asexual reproduction in which multicellular organisms break into two or more fragments and each fragment grows into the new complete organism. 
Generally, the term fragmentation it is used in case of plants and the term regeneration it is used in case of animals. So here is a diagram showing the fragmentation in algae that is Spirogyra. So parent, uh, parent uh, Spirogyra, so it breaks into two fragments and the latter is both each fragment give rise to the new Spirogyra. Regeneration. The ability of an individual fragment to replace its lost part is called regeneration. Spirogyra tape on planaria is spawn the starfish aspect are reproduced by this method. So here is a diagram showing the regeneration in planaria. So here the parent planaria it is placed into three parts and the each part replaces its lost part. Each part is able to regenerate its lost part and the ultimately three planaria are born. Vegetative propagation. It is the method of asexual reproduction in which new plants are produced from the vegetative part. So vegetative part means root, stem or leaves. Plant body it is divided into two parts, vegetative and reproductive part. The reproductive part includes flower, whereas vegetative part it includes root, stem or leaves. The natural method of vegetative propagation are vegetative propagation by root. Sweet potato, dahlia, petal, purple, guava, mint, etc. Vegetative propagation by steam. Potato, onion, ginger, garlic, etc. Vegetative propagation by leaves. Barophyllum, begonia, etc. Vegetative propagation by roots simply means that from the root, new plant rises. Similarly, vegetative propagation by steam means that from steam, new plant rises. And basically propagation by leaves means that from the leaves a new plant rises. Advantage of asexual reproduction vegetative propagation. The population can increase rapidly when the conditions are favorable. When the conditions are favorable, only one parent is needed, so that is also advantages. It is more time and energy efficient as you don't need a mate and it is faster than sexual reproduction. These are some of the advantages of asexual reproduction. Disadvantage of asexual reproduction. It hinders the diversity. As the, as the offspring, they are totally identical, genetically identical to their parents. It uh, disturbs diversity. It poses some inheritance issues. It can lead organisms to being born to the extinction. It carries problems with population control. It causes organism to not being able to adapt. Now we are going to discuss about the sexual reproduction. The complex process in which reproduction takes place by the fusion of male and female gametes is called sexual reproduction. This process is common in higher plants and animals. Characteristic features of sexual reproduction. Two parents are involved, both male and female. Gamete formation and fertilization takes place. The whole process is slow and lengthy. Variation occurs. Offspring are different from parents genetically and physically. Male organism and female organism. The organism that produces is from male gametes only is called male organism, whereas the organism that produces ova or eggs, female gametes, is called female organism. Unisexual or monosexual or dioecious animals. The animal having only one set of sex organs, that is either male or female, is called unisexual animals. So, as individual produce one type of gametes, that is either male or female. Bisexual or hermaphrodite or monoecious animals. The animal having both male and repro female reproductive organs is called bisexual animals. Example, leech, orthom, hydra, tapeworm, liver twig, etc. Flower. Flower is the reproductive part of plant which helps in sexual reproduction. Generally, there are four parts of flower. They are Calyx, Corolla, Androsium, and Gynosium. Complete or bisexual flower. The flower having all four holes, that is, Calyx, Corolla, Androsium, and Gynosium, are called complete flower. Whereas the flower missing any of the four holes is called incomplete flower. Calyx. Calyx is the outermost hole of flower and usually is green in color. The unit of calyx 
द यूनिट ऑफ कैलेक्स यूनिट मीन सिंगल इज कॉल सेपल एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ कैलेक्स इज टू प्रोटेक्ट द फ्लावर इन द ऑली स्टेज दैट इज इन द बॉडी स्टेज कोरोला कोरोला इज द सेकेंड होल सेकेंड होल सेकेंड पार्ट एंड मोस्ट अट्रैक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ फ्लावर द यूनिट ऑफ कोरोला इज कॉल पेटल एंड इट्स फंक्शन इज टू अट्रैक्ट द इंसेक्ट एंड हेल्प इन पोलिनेशन एज कोरोला इट इज द अट्रैक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ फ्लावर इट्स फंक्शन इज टू अट्रैक्ट द इंसेक्ट एंड हेल्प इन पोलिनेशन एंड्रोशियम इट इज द मेल पार्ट ऑफ फ्लावर एंड्रोशियम इज द मेल पार्ट ऑफ फ्लावर विच प्रोड्यूस पोलन ग्रेन दैट इज अ मेल गैमेट The unit of androecium is called stamen. The unit of androecium is called stamen. So here is a diagram showing the androecium. The unit of stamen. Stamen is further divided into two parts. There are anther and filament, and inside the anther, there is pollen grains, which is a male gamete. Gynecium. Gynecium is the female part of flower, which produces. or contain ovule which is female gamete the unit of gynecium is called carpel or pistil so here is a diagram showing the structure of carpel and carpel is divided into three parts they are stigma style and ovary pollination the process of transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of a flower is called pollination and it is of two types self pollination and cross pollination self pollination self pollination is the transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma of same flower whereas cross pollination it is the transfer of pollen grain from anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower of same species for self pollination pollinating agents are not required whereas for the cross pollination external agents or pollinating agents are required In self pollination, both anther and stigma mature at the same time, but in cross pollination, anther and stigma may mature at different times. Self pollination it can occur even when the flower is closed, whereas cross pollination it is not possible when the flower is closed. Self pollination produces homozygous offspring, that means identical to their parents, whereas cross pollination it produces heterozygous offspring self pollination does not introduce any variation as the offspring are identical to their parents whereas cross pollination it introduces variations fertilization the process of fusion of male and female gamete to form a zygote is called fertilization here is a diagram showing the fertilization in the higher plants that means in flowering plants During fertilization one male gamete fuses with the egg to produce a diploid 2n zygote the diploid zygote finally develop into an embryo the cell having n number of chromosomes are known as haploid and the cell having 2n number of chromosomes are known as the diploid the other male gamete fuses with the polar nuclei to form the triploid 3n primary endosperm nucleus This process is called triple fusion and the whole mechanism is called double fertilization. After fertilization zygote develops into an ovary, ovule develops into seed and ovary develops into fruit. So here is one question uh, regarding the fertilization in flowering plant. Why is the fertilization in flowering plants called double fertilization? The fertilization in flowering plants involves the fusion of two male gametes separately that is one male gamete with egg cell and another male gamete with secondary nucleus therefore the fertilization in flowering plants are called double fertilization difference between pollination and fertilization pollination it is the transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma of a flower whereas fertilization it is the fusion of male and female gamete to form a zygote Pollination facilitates formation of pollen tube which carries male gamete to the ovule whereas after fertilization zygote is formed and develops into embryo Pollination in this process carrying agents are needed whereas in fertilization no carrying agents are required Pollination occurs only in higher plants whereas fertilization occurs in all sexually reproducing organisms Embryo 
It is a young plant or animal in very early stages of development before birth or coming out of seed or egg. Embryo is formed by the mitotic cell division of a zygote in the early stages of its development. Difference between sperm and ovum. Sperm. It is produced by male sex organ, whereas ovum it is produced by female sex organ. Sperm. It is motile and is smaller in size, whereas ovum it is non-motile and bigger in size. Difference between external fertilization and internal fertilization. External fertilization. The fusion of male and female gamete takes place outside the body of female, whereas in internal fertilization, the fusion of male and female gamete takes place outside inside the body of female. In external fertilization, mating is not necessary, whereas in internal fertilization, mating is necessary. Difference between asexual and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction. Fusion of male and female gamete does not take place, whereas in sexual reproduction, fusion of male and female gamete takes place. Asexual reproduction is common in primitive plants and animals, whereas sexual reproduction it is common in higher plants and animals. In asexual reproduction, single parents are involved, whereas in sexual reproduction, both parents are involved. Advantages of sexual reproduction it produces genetic variation in the offspring. The species can adapt to new environment due to variation, which gives them a survival advantage. A disease is less likely to affect all the individuals in a population. By this, we have completed part one notes of this unit of sexual and sexual reproduction. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Hope to get your suggestion regarding this video in comment section. See you on part 2 of this video. Thank you.